I am literally heating my basement with crypto right now. Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tactics, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Today I'm in my fortress of seclusion mining some Monero. I've started to fire up some of the miners and get going. Monero is one of the easier things to mine over here in North America traditionally. Like when it comes to the cryptocurrency market, you get these things called ASIC miners that are just so good at what they do, man. They're just, that's all they do. And they're so good at it that uh, all us fleebs using CPU <laughs> miners and uh, GPU miners, we just get freaking blown away. China's got this game on lockdown, son. Back in the day when Monero was a big deal. Uh, Monero Classic now. The ASIC miners came out from Monero. Monero forked into several other versions. And I suppose what I used to mine now is called Monero Classic. Anyways, back in the day, mining Monero Classic. Everything was great. Everyone was mining with local stuff, consumer electronics. And that's the way the developers seemed to like it. Then all of a sudden, the ASIC miners come out for Monero. And man, they were really worried about a 51% attack. Because if you have a 51% of a crypto, it's like, it's super bad. It's really bad. So Monero forks to make sure that Monero can only be used with consumer electronics. It can't be gamed with ASIC. Um, yeah, she forked. So now I'm mining what passes for regular Monero while Monero Classic is still out there. But that's a little bit of history you don't necessarily need to know to know about what is Monero and why it's so important in the cryptocurrency world. So there's some, there are some, like when you go to the flea market, when you go to the store, you get hand a guy a 20. Nobody cares where the $20 was made. Nobody cares when it was made and whose hands it passed through. Ethereum, Litecoin, um, Bitcoin, all of these things, you know every place that this has gone through. So there's some places where like Bitcoin has gone to hackers' addresses and everyone's just watching those to see where it goes so that they might get a clue of where this money went. Well, people who made Monero think that uh, cryptocurrency should be the same as bills. If you give that $20 bill, no, it doesn't matter where it came from. And that's the privacy thing that Monero tries to encapsulate that's uh, that's what they do now there are some coins that flat out like put down there sneaky like phantom coin for example and there were some other ones that you just knew were there for diabolical reasons and i'm pretty sure the equation group was it the equation no it was the it was the data brokers were giving out information on universal hacks and they were asking for this phantom coin thing i almost wonder i almost wonder if uh, someone with phantom coin uh, put money up for them to do that but i'm sorry i'm getting away from monero you need monero within the cryptocurrency world for privacy at a certain level you need privacy unfortunately part of the sad thing about privacy is Let's face it, we're going to have people that are going to do freaking evil things with this. That are going to ask for Monero and the Monero coin can be cleaned so that uh, you don't know where it went. So that people can't trace it forever. So people can't watch those wallets and see where money moves to. Because uh, you get dirty money too sometimes. But uh, I don't think it's really all that easy to follow money. I, I could be wrong. But what we got here is a way of cryptocurrency to be anonymous, to be anonymous. At the same time, can it be used for evil? Absolutely, so could any tool in your tool shed. But within that, it is somewhat still somewhat sketchy just because of that. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Monero, the easiest way for the average flea to mine cryptocurrency of their own, like a nice hash, basically mines in Monero and then it pays you out in Bitcoin that's like the easiest way and uh, I'm trying other methods but uh, nice hash is just a lot of fun but ultimately that's the lowdown on Monero you can clean it it's totally anonymous totally easy and it's widely accepted that's it for me, folks. Now from that sec, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Guys, it's always appreciated. And as always, more importantly, folks, take care of each other, will you?